esteemed viewers, the tension online has now reached new heights. Things have gotten so tense that Davinia has stopped throwing 50 euro notes every single time a stagehand comes up to fix her microphone, and I'm pretty sure the drummer just farted. <laughs> Influencers took over 2018 social media sphere and dominated our airwaves with sponsored, well, everything. When in drag, I like to tell everyone it takes a lot of money to look this cheap. But when it comes to YouTube, radio and influencing, it takes a lot of effort to make it look this easy. And for that, we'd like to commend all our nominees. But unlike what primary schools are saying nowadays, there can only be one winner. So Davinia, the awards, please. Thank you, Chucky. Some seriousness, please. Rachel Kakia is here from V Squared to announce the winner of Best YouTuber. Thank you, Rachel. Here are the nominees. Grand Day, Stella Cini, All About Charlene, Daniel Dean Kingswell, and Alison Gaffarena. And the winner is... Stella Cini! Thank you so much for giving this wonderful award and for voting for me and for giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, and hopefully 2019 will be even better and crazier and bigger. So thank you from my heart. Good thing I'm already subscribed to her channel. And now we'll find out if video really did kill the radio star with the Best TV or Radio Personality Award. Here to hand it out is Marae Muscat from Melita. Thank you. <clears throat> and the nominees are Valentina Rossi, Ben Camille, Oz, Mark Lawrence Zamit, and Elenia Spiteri. And the winner is... <laughs> Valentina Rossi! Wow. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much to all the listeners that actually voted for me because we've pushed a bit on the radio, okay, to say like, vote for me, please. But um, thank you to Vibe for actually giving me a job on the radio. And I have to say this because I will pay for it later. Thank you to my lovely co-hosts, Nate and Frank, for actually being so supportive and putting up with me. <laughs> thank you, guys, and well done. Thanks. Thank you. I'm so happy for Valentina, but if I'm being completely honest, I'm a bit sad that Ben Kami didn't win mm. because things always get very interesting when we share a dressing room. Really? Uh, it's because we discuss sports, ball, sports, ball. Woo, uh, woo, uh. Woo, woo. Anyway, so, <laughs> esteemed viewers, as we approach the end of our show, primarily because I'm a very large man in very high heels and there's only so much weight they can take, it's time to call things quits very soon. But the award show has been great fun for us, maybe less fun for all the people who are at home right now being bombarded with endless selfies from all our nominees. We know you literally swear to God, can't even, are literally dying to know the winners of the next award, so we are not gonna dilly-dally any longer. Davinia, if we could have the final two awards as voted for by the public, please. Let's do this. I can't believe we're almost at the end. We've got two more awards to give out before the surprise Love in Malta award is revealed. Here to help me out with the first one, the Rising Star Award is Claire Suzanne Boards from Egg Recruitment. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much. Okay. These are the nominees. Michaela Poch, Luke Chappell, Francesca Cormi, Maxine Poch, and DJ Ant. And the winner is... Michaela Poch. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Michaela couldn't be here tonight, but she sent us a video. In the shallow, shallow. Okay, got carried away. Hey, Love Mota, I would like to thank you for the Best Rising Star Award. I really, really appreciate it. I feel so honored to be receiving such an award. I would also like to thank you for your support. And I would also like to thank the Maltese and Gossip in public for their support as well. So thank you very much. And now for the creme de la creme of social media, the Best Influencer Award. David Alvarez from Malta Public Transport is here to help me out. And as you can see, we're both very excited. The nominees are Tamara Webb, Sarah Zerafa, Stella Cini, Ben Camille, and Valentina Rossi. And the winner is, drum roll please. I'm shy. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, five years ago, I downloaded Instagram with obviously no expectations whatsoever. I started sharing my life from day one, and I just kept doing it. And I'm so grateful for everyone who follows me and for everyone who voted for me. And this gives me a purpose to continue. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry, I was just jamming. Now, thank you to all of our winners. There were over, this is just a reminder, there were over 110,000 votes cast for these awards. And unlike an Azerbaijani election or an X Factor competition, all the winners tonight were actually chosen by the public. Yep. But <laughs> screw you. <laughs> but what's an award show without a little oligarchy? I guess we're not going to find out tonight as we get ready to present the Lovin' Malta Award, a special prize by Team Lovin' Malta for a person we all felt deserved extra special recognition for their hard work, incredible content, and super timeline longevity. Here to present the award, you may know him as the CEO of Love and Malta or the man behind the magic, but to us, he's, he's just, just daddy. daddy. It's Chris Perigi. <laughs> So, thank you everyone, and thank you Chucky and Davinia for keeping us all so well entertained tonight. Um, the Love and Malta Award is being given out to a person whose social media presence has been undeniable in the year 2018. Um, and we'll just go to the winner. And the winner is, drum roll please. You look like a cake. Really? Shame on you. It was incredible. Alex Alden. Yeah. X Factor judge Alex Alden has taken over all our social media feeds in the past few months, from outrageous but incredible outfits to unpopular opinions and hilarious outbursts. What's certain is you've definitely talked about her this year. What we really love about Alex is that besides giving the internet lots of content on the daily, she's also shown us how to take hate like a champ. And that's what social media in 2018 was all about. Here she is accepting this award in very Alex Alden style, all the way from the Netherlands. It was a sacrilege, a musical sacrilege, that the Maltese Islands had never seen before. 
it still breaks my heart. But I know that next time round, things will be different. So I've been taking time to contemplate. And in the midst of all of this, I received a call. Delivering the sweetest news. And all I could say was, really? Really? Did I just win the Love and Mortar Awards? <laughs> yes! Um, no, I... I am not used to winning stuff. But winning! I'm very, very flattered. But this is a massive honor and I just want to say thank you to everyone. It's great to be acknowledged. Thank you for supporting me in what I do and what I am passionate about. And the fact that an organization like Love and Water is ready to acknowledge and support my work and my passion says a lot to me. Because yes, I'm very passionate about music. And you can tell that people at Love and Water also really love what they do. So, thank you. Thank you! Sacrifice. Thank you, Alex, and of course, thank, thank you, Daddy! Daddy. If you do not make that clip go viral, I am going to be <laughs> so disappointed. That was... Something. Yeah. So, well, that's it from all of us here. A huge thank you to all of our crew and all the sponsors who made tonight happen. And a big shout out to our wonderful band, The Ranch. <laughs> We've had an absolute blast co-hosting the first ever Love in Malta Social Media Awards. And we hope you had a blast watching. If you did, please spread some love on social media and tell me who you think would be a really good co-host for next year. Fuck you. I've been Chucky Bartolo. And I'm Davinia. And we will see you again next, next year. year. Mwah. Mwah.